Well, at this present time, you have various organizations and companies coming, trying to buy up all of the property, but they don't really have an interest of this particular community. What is a community land trust? A community land trust is a model of land ownership that is becoming increasingly popular across the country in response to unfair speculation in urban real estate markets. As a democratically governed nonprofit, a community land trust acquires land and ensures it will be used for the benefit of the community. It also aims to keep buildings, whether rental housing, owner-occupied homes, or businesses, permanently affordable and in the hands of the people. A community land trust is a vision for the future and an expression of resistance to the current land grabs and gentrification of places like Detroit. A community land trust is a concrete way to put forward our belief that our communities are up to us. I like that um, it has like a lot of homes for kids and like a lot of kids and neighborhood can come around and like it's parks and stuff for the kids to go to. It's a great neighborhood, uh, but it has a lot of challenges. And um, I think the people who remain here uh, are dedicated to the idea of this as a neighborhood. Okay, first of all, I want to mention Campbell Elementary, right, right across the street. Here it is, all the kids went there. You have people like Tommy Hearns, who grew up in this neighborhood. We have people like Michael Weaver and some of the greatest basketball players that ever played the game come from this particular neighborhood. Well, yes, Black Bottom. A lot of people think uh, Black Bottom is all about the, the, the people, but it was actually about the soil and how this was really a community or what we really want to get back to in which everyone knew their neighbor and they could go to their neighbor and ask for this or that and it was all like one big family. In our neighborhood, the problem is that people perceive it as being kind of um, a wide open space that's very underpopulated. So they make plans for you without you, in a sense. Um, so that if you started to pull together your resources and came up with a land trust, what it would do is it would allow you to have some say so over what happens in your neighborhood. We're asking for $70,000 to start this community land trust. How will the $70,000 be used? This initial money will be used as a fund to purchase land and also raise further funds so that a group of individuals and organizations can creatively decide to the use of land for projects and plans that emerge for their collective visions. And it can be anything, including sustainable housing, eco-village, a park, urban farming, maker spaces, so much more. Whatever the vision of the community is, that's what this will be used for. As Grace Lee Boggs said, I don't know what the next American revolution is going to be like, but we might be able to imagine it if your imagination were rich enough. All donations are tax deductible as they are made through the James and Grace Lee Boggs Center to Nurture Community Leadership. People should give because it's important for us to own our own land. It's important that we should be the developers. We should be the ones who make things happen in our own community and not depending on someone to come in and take over what we have been living here for what, 50 and 60 years. Hi, my name is Kevin Jones. Everyone know me by the name of Coach Kellogg. I am the director of Jones and for Change. A community land trust to me is when the community owns and controls the assets of a parcel of land. We have raised $25,000 and we plan to reach $70,000 in 70 days. With this community land trust, your support is helping the community. And so uh, it, it comes back to the idea of a village or a community so that we're all sort of doing our own thing and we all have our self-interest but our self-interest combined is a, is a community interest and so you know that's the neighborhood I grew up in and that's the neighborhood we're working toward restoring we believe in the spirit of restoration and so we're working toward that restoration